So guess what he says? He said, for to be carnally minded is death, but to what be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now when I saw this, I said, my God. So among many things, this, these are the two core things he picked about the spiritual mind. This was a man who had walked in that spiritual mind. And he said, if you have this spiritual mind, what we have is life and peace. When the Bible says all other things shall be added unto you, it means that there will be something in you that will surpass the satisfaction you would have gotten if you chased and got the things that Gentiles sought for. You don't have the billions, but you have something that surpassed the satisfaction a man who had, has that billions would have gotten. There is a craving, sir. That person is looking for. There is a glory he's yearning for. When he strives to buy that Rolls Royce, there is a satisfaction he's desiring. But see, when you seek the kingdom of God, what it will deposit in you is life and then a peace. That peace will give you a satisfaction that the man who was chasing after Rolls Royce, after getting hit, that man cannot even have that satisfaction. To be added. So whether there is money or not, there is a reality that cannot be touched. So it's life and his peace check the average christian they are troubled that's a sign that their minds are gone spiritual Talabosi. if the glory of god cannot satisfy a man then that man's mind is not tuned to the god he claims to worship how can you be a christian and be depressed and we ask you what's the cause of your depression it's not that you've lost your prayer life is that you don't have money. Who is your God? So you mean now that if we give you money, you'll be satisfied? Yes now. Oh, then, then where is the joy that comes from the Holy Ghost? We need to begin to investigate you. Because there are many that has that money, sir. But they don't have what this Holy Spirit gives us. The satisfaction it gives to us is beyond the satisfaction that anything in this world can give to the worldly. So there is nothing like when I seek the kingdom of God and I've done that one, then I cannot begin to seek this world because it will be added to me. No, it is the satisfaction that the world should have given you. The Holy Ghost will surpass it. So guess what? The mind of an average believer or the life of an average believer is always full. Full. There's no emptiness. It's always full. I still have joy in chaos. I've got peace that makes no sense and I won't be going under. I'm not held by my own strength. I put my faith in Jesus. He's always there for me. Faithful through every season. So why would he fail now? I say he would do. So why would he fail now? He won't do. Let's say local number. Hey, why would he fail now? I still have joy in chaos. I've got peace that makes no sense, and I would be going under. I'm not held by my own strength. I put my faith in Jesus. Hey. He's never let me down. Headful to every season. So I would give it now. He would do, he would do, he would do, he would do. So why would he? And I would be going on. 
I'm a girl by my own strength. I put my faith in Jesus. Ha! His love will let me down. That's what true love reaches. So I would he fell down. He fell down. He did not bring us this far to leave us, so why would he fail now? 